day one. I'm just arrived in this lovely village, so that will be my house for the next few days. And the good beginning is always the best beginning. So I already managed, I have to cross to come here, that's the tent I place, that's the village. And one of these houses has the family that is hosting me and giving me food and water in the evening. So that there is a river I have to cross every day, at least a couple of times. And today I managed already to put one feet in the water while I was crossing, so that my shoes are drying. Now that's my backpack and as well the tent as we see and that's the mountain surrounding so the point is uh, how long it will take to the shoes to dry because if I have no shoes I can't go very far so for tonight I already managed to cross the river by naked feet and uh, to reach and I borrow some slippers from the owner of from my house uh, from my guest and uh, I will see tomorrow hopefully now it's very bright but the sun is going down very soon but tomorrow if the sun is coming the shoes should dry very fast anyway that's that's the shoes that's the village and that's my new adventure beginning i hope to survive uh, as always day number two mission of the day i want to see what's behind that point the main issue is I've done some walk and as you can see the road is mainly wet so I have to jump over the stones um, the Sun is there but is always covered so my shoes are still in the camp about the kilometers from here and still wet and uh, that's my walking shoes for the day I guess I have still quite a long way to go and it looks like that the water is not gonna hand very soon so I have to jump stone over stone it's kind of fun problem I'm not allowed to make a mistake because if I put a fit in the water then I will probably freeze <laughs> so let's see I'll try to get a picture as soon as I reach the angle just to give an idea of the weather condition I don't need any shirt or jacket that are here today but there is ice around so if there is no sun the weather the temperature goes down really quickly if there is the sun it goes up really quickly so it's a mess to decide what to get on it's definitely not a place to be fashionable. Yakshit! How does it work? You pick up the yakshit fresh from the ground, you make it into the ultimate frisbee shape uh, yakshit, and then you throw it on the pile. Uh, mismatch. Anyway, then it dries slowly, and when it dries, it's uh, extremely useful to make fire and uh, and basically to make fire and burn so that's the story of the yakshit and that's a very big yakshit pile just to give you an idea that's my hand and that's the pile yakshit everyone should have, have some at home oh good that's the mountain that's the river and that on the bottom is the village I come from. I think now the sun is slowly going down and I think it would be very smart to go back before the sunset. Also because I have a torch but it's very small and I don't know how much battery I have. But I will... Ooh, no. I have to price the shoes that bring me all the way up here and I can really use some oxygen now. I think I go down a little bit and I take a rest. I'm nearly on my way back.
Good morning Tibet. Uh, this is nine o'clock, more or less, nine fifteen. I'm I'm still in the sleeping bag because I'm trying to warm up the jumper that was uh, frozen. Actually outside everything is frozen as you can see from the little bit of ice that fell on my sleeping bag as soon as I opened the tent. Anyway, today the weather is beautiful, not a lot of uh, clouds in the sky, so the sun is just rising above the mountain and uh, finally maybe I will be able to dry my shoes <coughs> and uh, that's the shoes that is still a bit wet, so I'll put it un outside under the sun. Uh, okay, that's how the mountain is looking like today and the floor is still frozen I can't wait to abandon my <laughs> working shoes of the past two days that's the tent that is still one side completely frozen the other side is getting much better because the sun is heating oh wow so the plan for today is uh, step one I go to my beautiful hosted family and get some uh, butter yak drink uh, and then climb up that mountain <coughs> then Sylvia told me on the opposite side I, I will be able to see a monastery that has one walking one day walking distance from here and then I'll be back to the tent I'll pack everything and I will climb up with my backpack with everything inside this small mountain just to get how difficult it is to walk with the sleeping bag with the backpack on the back and then uh, if everything went well tomorrow morning I'll leave to the monastery that's, that's the general plan I'll have to see at the end of the day if I'm still alive or not anyway I ate I officially ate the river <coughs> especially when I have to how do you say in English? I have no idea when I have to pass it to reach the village but yesterday night I managed to do it <coughs> with the torch with <coughs> in the darkness it was quite funny to me around half an hour and it was snowing and it was extremely windy and cold so I really ah uh, ah uh, today looks like a beautiful day <coughs> So I'm looking forward to start to climb and bye bye. I guess that's all for the day. <coughs> oh, young explorers grows up. So that's the tent I left. Is that red the small point over there more or less? And well, I reached so far, and I still have a little bit the way up to go just on the top there I have to listen I must listen to Alessandro's suggestion every 300 meters height I need to stop or my heart will explode so slowly slowly mama lie I'll try to reach the top that's the first step I am definitely not sure I'm gonna be able to make it with the backpack tomorrow I will see excellent I feel like in a video game, level 1, done. and uh, now level 2 to be complete. I thought that was the end, okay. Still a little bit more to go. I can't wait to reach the top. But so far the view is something indescribable. able to climb these things with the backpacks for tomorrow I will be a wild climber and I'll go somewhere <coughs> the original plan then to walk all the way there
three hours climbing. I think I risked to fall down only two or three times. That's my camping stuff for now. I will stop here for about 20 minutes just to take some breath. I think that it should be around 5000 meter now <laughs> because the village is down there and it's 4200, 4300. So I think at least. So breathing is okay. or escalator around so I think that's the only option I got because I'm sure that tonight if I spend the night here without anything else than what I have I will be stuck up and that's not an option uh, okay Yeah. <laughs>